ladies and gentlemen welcome again in this video i'll show you how to make a suggestions menu for your search bar just like the one you see in google or any other websites if you watched my previous video you've seen that we've created this little map app here using react native and it had a basic search bar that doesn't do anything you just type things in it then click on search and then it filters things on the map but here alter this that it shows suggestions as you type for example if i type you here i get two gems as the letter u and m to UFC gyms and if I click on that it takes me to that result oh and by the way as opposed to the previous videos where these are dummy data here I get the data straight from the back end and this is what my data looks like in the back end okay I'll explain how this gets implemented today the way we're, we have the app UI built looks like this so the alteration we're gonna do to the ui is we gonna group the search bar into its own div and these two into their own div why because then i'm gonna have the suggestion menu be on top of this second div so what i'm gonna do is gonna be is, is gonna look something like this i'm gonna i'm gonna group these two inside this like this and the other one here like this and the reason why i'm doing it this way because I'm gonna then attach my menu. I'm gonna set its position explicitly to be on top, on the top of the second div, like this, and over the other components. Okay, so this is my code from the previous video, untouched. I would wanna go to my search section where I have everything that is in here, return, view, and here's how everything is grouped. Currently, it's separately. So I'm gonna put this in a dev, Sorry, I'm saying div like it's React.js. I actually mean view. I'm gonna put this into a view and I'm gonna put this into another view. So let's do that. There you go, I've grouped them together. Uh, the views don't have to have any special styling. Wrap those, uh, the, drop the, this under a view and these two elements under the second view. If you save and refresh, save, nothing happens. Our view is still intact. Now, Here's where I'm gonna add my new component that will have that list. Let's just make it an empty view that is a dummy just to see where it's located with a um, green background color so we can see how it looks and how is it positioned. So this, just so we can see it also add the width to be 100 and a height of 100, there you go. Now it's, at, it's been added but it's being included in the same plane as the other two um, Compo uh, elements the other two views so I don't want them to be in the same plane you just do Z index and you can make it a, you can give it a value that is more than one maybe like 10 okay and then you also got to set the position to be absolute there you go now it's over the other um, the other components as we want it to be now this will not just be a green view this will contain the our list of suggestions okay so let's put some dummy um, data inside it maybe like two items like this save and that's what it looks like uh, this is just touchable opacity component because they're clickable right white background with border color border width of one one pixel width of 95% so that it will look nice it doesn't fill the whole screen with a border radius of five just to make it look neat uh, also it will do an action if I click on it currently it doesn't do anything but print in the console the text is the size of 17 padding of 10 looks great now I just need to get rid of this uh, green background done I also need to align put my items my suggestions in the center I can do this by just using align items and I set it to center there we go now there's a little gap between the search bar and uh, and the list to get rid of that just do top and then put a minus value maybe five let's see how five goat works not enough maybe 10 uh what about 15 i think 10 is just about right 10 looks good so now we actually fix this we don't want this to appear unless the user has tapped anything something into the search bar and there are some results so to handle that just instead wrap this and a state variable called gem suggest uh, it's gonna be an array I haven't created the state variable I'll create it and if the length of this of this array is more than zero meaning that we have a we ha actually have suggestions then display it also if the search string which is the text that is entered here is not empty 
So search string is not an empty string. Then display everything. I haven't defined this, so let's define gem suggestions. Go to your state variables over here and create an empty array, which then which then gonna be populated from the gem suggestions from uh, loaded from the backend. Okay, so now it's not appearing when I type anything because the gem suggestion is empty. But if I put one item in this, let's say a string, and I do one. There you go, now it appears because I have one item in my gym suggestions and I have text that is not empty. So this looks great. Now I guess all I need to do is that I want to populate this with data from the backend. Okay? So in order to do that, I need to handle when the user um, types when the user types the types text into the search bar. I won't just change my, my search string search var um, state variable. I will also query my database to load the search suggestions meaning that instead of um, setting the state variable here you would uh, also need to load the data as you type so so create a new method let's call it handle search input which takes the text we get from the uh, from the on change event here now replace actually take this move it over here okay set the state all right but also move this here cool now here is where you're gonna load the data so you, you get you, you set the state and for me my database is firebase firestore and in Firestore, I'm loading my, I'm querying my database like this. So I query my database every time the user types something. I look for documents in my database that has a matching, that has that has a name that starts with the string that the user is inputting because the user is starting to type U. So I, I'm looking for something here that starts with U. Okay, and I get the documents and then I set them as my suggestion. Obviously, I gotta get rid of this. So I get the data. I um, I print out how many results I get just in case in my console so I can see what happened. And then I'll use those as my suggestions. So this is what happens in the backend. Uh, but also, you want to only load this when the user has actually inputted some text. So make sure here also search string is, is not just an empty string, okay? Otherwise, you're going to get all the results. Okay, let's give this a try. Save. Now, what happens if I type you? Uh, well, actually, we have to look at the console. So here, I'm not printing in the console. I got a typer here. Let's try again. So what happens if I type Q? Uh, I got I got another error. I'm not sure what it is. Sorry, there was an error, but uh, all I had to do to fix it was I just had to rebuild the project and restart the bundler. But now it works. Now when I type uh, U, I get here in the console it says I have two documents, two gems that um, that that starts with the letter U. Okay, so I'm getting the data successfully. I'm setting it as my state variable, but I'm not displaying it here in the menu. Cool. So now we're getting the data successfully. Now we just need to populate it here. So go down and instead of saying test, right? Take, you want to you wanna remove this second touchable opacity, right? And uh, just take this, do this. And here, loop through that suggestions. For each suggestion, gem return this component and here it's gonna be suggested them data because that's how I in my in my in my case in my firebase objects that's how I actually get the data for the document here and I print out the name save now let's try this again you there you go now it works the only thing I need to do now is just when I click on this I want to be taken to the page for that gym Okay, now, now it doesn't do anything except printing in the console. Let's fix that. So in order to fix that, I just need to reuse the same method that I use here for when I click on one of these callouts. I'll reuse the same for when I click on um, on one of the suggestions. So here I just add select gem. Okay, this one what it will do, it will take the gem, it will um, get the gem data and get the gem ID instead. Okay, and then we'll pass the ID here and then we'll take a second page. So take this, select gem, and put it, where is it, on press here and just pass the suggestion gem. Okay, let's give this a try. So, TK. Wait, I accidentally clicked on it, but I want to show you just to prove it. You, uh, Jesus Christ. What's happening? You. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it seems like we have some sort of a bug that uh, automatically clicks when as I type. Oh, I, I, I did it. You should follow this format. I just put the function as it is, so it will get called right away. Okay, my bad. So this is the right uh, syntax. So let me just get rid of this. I'm already doing it inside the method. So save. Now, if I type U, I click on this. I get to go. I get to go to that page. If I click on the other one, I get to go to that page also. 
If I click X, it cancels. If I'm not tapping anything, if I put some text, U, and then I remove it, the menu disappears. Fully functional, easy to use, um, so simple. Yeah, that's it. That's all I have. Hope this video was useful. Uh, hope you had fun watching it. Hope it's easy to follow. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment. Like and subscribe. And if you want to get the full source code for this video, so you don't have to build it by yourself from the scratch and support the channel also in the process, you can find it in the link to my Patreon below. Subscribe to my Patreon and get the source code for all the videos, including this one. And that's all. Have a good weekend. I'll see you next time. Bye.